there is something about these types of allegations that always divides the country. Guningi and the Sibangane. So let's just go straight into it. Nyan Amugela Gung Oboyami Bom Tabaka Tat Bom Tabaka Koko Bom Tabaka Anti Bom Tabaka Sissy. I am Sims and it's at the right Sims on Instagram. So please follow your sister. We are coming to you live from Discover TV. Let us be your stage. We haven't been in studio for a while. Like September can just end for me. Like I'm um, thanks. It was a very, very long month for me. With regards to my channel, with regards to everything that's just going on in my life. So over the weekend, we all heard what happened between Unoda and Itumeleng. Ne? I might be late to jump on this story, but I'm a blog nonetheless, and it's my chance to talk about it. So I don't know if you guys have been watching me for a while or you guys know that I have um, a personal relationship with Utamulo Nota, right? And um, Itumeleng dated someone in my family also so yeah wanna these two people i know um well you know and when the accusation came out regarding itumeleng saying that nota uh, went very far with her like to the point where the sexual you know that word we can't use on youtube because youtube is very sensitive about such things so there was a relationship taking place between Unota and Itumeleng, right? Unota and Itumeleng come far. Um, back to the days of, you remember that hit song, Yaga Cuesta, Imae Babo? Itumeleng. Like literally propelled that song to greater heights because of the chorus and how she intros the song. And for us to find out that she only made 59 cents from the song was a shock to us. Hanti, while we were still dealing with that, more accusations came out on her part saying that, well, this year in 2024, Nota and I... Um, we're alone at his place and he did things to me that I did not consent to. And on Nota's side, Nota came out and said, I have a protection order against Uitumeleng because she is harassing me and saying that she will be opening a case against me, against these types of allegations that eventually came out. Now, social media is ablaze and is in a huge divide. First of all, Untamulo does not have a good track record when it comes to him and his relationships with women in general. We've seen the types of things that he has said about women on social media platform. And a lot of us saw how things went down between him and his former wife, Uberita, right? So people were already like, we don't believe you. Just based on how you portray women and the tweets that you've um, deleted now that say that when you are with a woman and you're about to do a private part collaboration, put your voice in her hands. So she can be the one to insert it herself. This is a rule that I live by and it has worked for me thus far. And then there have been WhatsApp conversations between Nota and Itumeleng that were leaked. Okay, I was also sent the WhatsApp um, messages. Like these must, WhatsApp messages go back months, right? But the critical part of the conversations were leaked where Utumeleng said everything happened too fast and too soon for me. There were parts where I said no, and I said stop, but she didn't stop. So now people are like, this is not looking good. 
these guys we're gonna one thing about these allegations once they come out there's always a divide in this country and i don't understand at this point at this point in time the men and the women on different fences not a butwami the law must take its course like when it comes to such allegations our 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 now and let me tell you about this industry i will tell you my own personal experience ne? i was 16 years old right and you know what happened to me um i was a backup dancer i used to tell you say i used to dance right i was a backup dancer for kelly kumalo and her late husband oprospa makwela right so we were dancing for an artist um that was on the record label at the time uh, Kelly Kumalo and Prosper's record label was called Pro Kelly Entertainment. So we were backup dancers for one of the artists. They had a performance at Mirupa Casino, right? This was in 2008, November. So we were there and we were rehearsing. We got to the casino. We got to Limpopo at around 9 p.m. Then we first went to the casino to go do the sound check and the rehearsals because the performance was the following day. Then they booked us into a guest house. And because I was um, I was 16, I was the youngest dancer at the time. I was 16 and being a 16 or 2008, yes. And Rose and Zintle were also part of the group. There were three of us. They were both 18, no Rose, no Zintle. I was the only 16 year old there. And then we had our dance teacher, Omem Tlantla. So they booked us into this guest house, right? And everyone, Prosper, everyone was there. Kelly's dancers, there were a few guys there. Everyone was older, like they, obviously people were drinking, people were chilling. We had just come from rehearsing and people were just having a good time. Three Sam was still a group because they were also performing. Um, Goyo, Jeff, and Amstel, right? And then Kelly and Prosper had their own room. Obviously they were our big bosses. They had their own room and then Yo, guys, the story. Fine. After we were in our room, we put we put our bags down, and then there was a games room in that guest house where there was snooker. People were drinking, having fun. So then, thank goodness for the teacher that we had, Mem Tlatla. She was so protective over us, and I can understand why in this um industry, right? We are young, we are impressionable. You are around a bunch of celebrities. I was in awe half the time, like. <gasps> I couldn't believe like what was happening you know like these are people i watch on tv and they are now here with me treating me like i'm one of their peers you know there was this gent with prosper in the games room so me and rose were taking a tour of the guest house because we were so excited like we were going room by room seeing who's sleeping here who's sleeping here then we ended up at the games room where there was the snooker and people were drinking we got there it was prosper and this other gent um, as soon as we got in there, they were like, hey girls, oh, we saw you in the bus at the garage. Are you guys okay? Are you guys having a good time? We're like, yeah. And then they started asking us questions like, how old are you? I'm like, I'm 16. Rose like, I'm 18. They're like, oh, anything past 12 is lunch. You know, those comments. And then next thing, Prosper is standing at the door like, why are you at the door? You know, because now we could hear our teacher's um, voice calling us in the corridor. Because she's like, Simpiwe, Rose, she can't find us anywhere. Oh, Prosper is standing there by the door. Can you believe I was wearing a strap thing? Prosper started doing this to my thing. Like, wanting to put his hands down my boobs, right? As I'm, like, trying to figure out why is this man touching me like this, I look back, oh, Rose, the other guy is trying to also touch you, Rose, you know? And then my teacher, like, was banging the door down because I kept saying, ma'am, ma'am, I'm here, like, ma'am. So Prosper is in between me and my teacher outside of the door, Fine, she managed to get us out of the room, ne? And then Prosper was like, and then he did this, like, you know, because he was married to Kelly at the time, and he kept doing this. And I was like, as soon as I got out, like, I didn't realize what was going on, like, and I didn't even take it seriously. That's how insane it was. As soon as we told our dance teacher what happened, she was livid, okay? And then you know what the thing was? They were like, why were you there? Why did you go to that room? 
why didn't you try to leave? It was now our fault that how did we put ourselves in that situation? And when you hear the stories, I can tell you stories for days. I can tell you situations for weeks. When it comes to women in this industry, we are not protected. It's always going to be your fault. Why were you dressed like that? Why did you drink his drink? Why? It's always us. It's always us. It's never them. It's always us. So when it comes to these types of allegations, I do not take them lightly and I always want the law to prevail. But unfortunately, because money always wins, you will see how the story is going to play out. I won't say much, but you're going to see how the story is going to play out. We are going to have another Lady Zama situation. We are going to have another you put yourself in that situation type of story. Just watch. I don't want to speak more because like Nyaziz or Gutiazin, my mind is just there. So I'm going to leave this video here and we can talk more about it in the comment section down below. I will see you on the next one. Bye. Yo.